My name is Adelaide Winsome. I perform under the name Geppetta as a puppeteer. Um, I'm a multimedia artist who works with themes of mental health as depression, suicide, trauma. I had it in my head a while ago. I'd be this visual artist and do paintings. And I think that didn't make sense to my process as someone who is bipolar and goes through these different phases of um, emotional states. And so I started kind of writing more stories or having these ideas for stories and started performing them as puppet shows. And that was kind of like, oh, I had this one process where I can sit in my studio and be alone and like make intricate things and I can kind of bust out in this other energy and be, um, get out of the house. And that's very healthy to do and kind of use this other more like manic energy out in the world. Storytelling and um, using that as a language or using art as a language, a visual language, to tell those things that are more complicated. Because you can say depression and say trauma and say suicide and say really loaded things that mean a lot of really complicated issues to people, but um, kind of a more empowering way of talking about it can be through art. On a cold and desolate hillside, there once haunted a ghost cat. Due to the hill's remote location, there was no one to hunt. For this reason, she was very lonely, and her paws froze during the night. One day, she partook in the rare event of scaring off some hikers, and they left for her a gift. A pair of magic mittens. What powers could these magic mittens have, she thought. They magically warmed her paws kept them warm through the night. But the mittens could not magically cure her loneliness. The end. It was even a way to um, talk about things that were very complicated to me, channel them into a story and be like, okay, this is like how I'm feeling because I don't know how to describe it otherwise to you. Thinking about my artistic um, process, not as a product, is important because that is a healing process and kind of realizing, looking back at my old sketchbooks and old illustrations and, and saying that was an outlet to, to deal with it. I think of recovery as, and more of the sense of a verb as opposed to a noun. It makes a lot of sense as this like constant process of recovering. So I think I'm not always in therapy and I travel a lot, I'm on the road, but I think having that, um, kind of creating my life as a, an outlet for, for discussing mental health issues in a way that feels empowering and, and label, like kind of labeling my artistic process as a recovery is, is really important.